Taylor Force was a West Point graduate who served in Afghanistan and Iraq and was pursuing his MBA at Vanderbilt. His future was bright. Taylor was stabbed to death while he was in Israel by a uh, Palestinian. The 28-year-old was savagely knifed to death as he strolled on a Tel Aviv Ocean boardwalk last year. His killer, a Palestinian terrorist, whose stabbing spree also severely wounded 10 others. All dads, all moms are, are proud of their kids. Uh, Taylor basically did everything right, but he was, he was humble about it. Taylor's parents, Robbie and Stewart, say their grief was compounded by the fact that the family of their son's murderer is making money off Taylor's death. The Palestinian Authority pays jihadists and their survivors who are involved in acts of terrorism money, critics say, that is derived from U.S. funds. A congressional bill named for Taylor called the Taylor Force Act would cut off USA to the Palestinian Authority if it does not stop the payments. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham is the bill's main sponsor. Can you imagine growing up in a country where your government will pay you for killing someone else through a terrorist act? The U.S. gives the Palestinian Authority more than $300 million a year, and the PA reportedly shells out that much to the families, about 7% of its total budget. Taylor's killer was identified as 22-year-old Bashar Mas Allah, who was shot to death by Israeli police after the attack. The Palestinian ambassador to the United Nations defends the payments. There are, you know, a large number of Palestinians who are receiving uh, compensation. They are victims of Israeli terrorism. But Taylor's parents hope the bill would discourage acts of terrorism. And it's so important that the Taylor Act, Force Act passes so that other sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, aren't lost in this way. Senator Graham says President Trump will sign the Taylor Force Act, but passage remains uncertain because so far, not one Democrat supports it.